Star Wars Jedi Survivor, the full reveal trailer is finally here. And it's currently 4am, but who cares? I'm gonna do a breakdown anyways, because it was freaking awesome. And I just wanna dig into all the details and I'm sure you guys want to do it as well. This is gonna be recorded right after it dropped, so I'm sure I'll miss something. And if I did, please let me know in the comments below, as I will gladly make an updated, more in-depth version of this video. Once we've gotten all our brains together, to dig out all the details. Before I get into the breakdown, I wanted to quickly mention that if any of you guys want to get the new Star Wars Jedi Battle Scars novel, which is the prequel to this game and will be released a few weeks before the game, you can actually get it for free through Audible and you will directly support the channel if you do. Just follow the link at the top of the description and you can get one audiobook for free, including pre-ordering the Star Wars Jedi Battle Scars book. So basically, you get a free book, you support the channel and you can cancel the membership before the trial ends and still keep the pre-ordered book. So it's a win-win for everyone. Don't miss out at the top of the description. But now let's talk about the trailer. It obviously starts off with Cal releasing whoever it is who is imprisoned in this big Baghdad tank. He says he was betrayed by the one he trusted the most so it kind of makes me feel like maybe he's some type of padawan who was betrayed by his master or similarly and imprisoned in this tank. I am 99% certain that he is the antagonist that we see later in the trailer just that he cleaned up a little bit. He obviously has blue glowing eyes here but we can't really see his eyes very clearly in the other scene but the voice sounds the same though so I think he's gonna be an accidental antagonist that Cal is gonna release and then realize oh shit maybe it wasn't a good idea. Idea. And we obviously get to see Cal fighting battle droids, starting off with a quick clip of a Magna Guard. So throughout the trailer we see both Magna Guards, battle droids and super battle droids. So I'm not sure which planet this is gonna be on, but someone has obviously taken over some old separatist droids and he will be going there to fight them, which makes me very excited to have a big variety of enemies available for us. We can also see the return of some old enemies right here. We can see both a flame trooper, a storm trooper and a K2 unit, which we all fought in the first game on a very clearly imperial facility. This guy is very interesting because if you take a look, he actually has a very similar hilt to what Cal has, which makes me a little bit confused because that was Jarota Pulse, which I thought would be quite unique. And he also has an orange lightsaber. It does look like it has these two little things that can flip out to potentially becoming a cross guard. So I really don't know who this guy is. And if it's one of the characters we might see later in the trailer. But it's such a short scene that it's hard to analyze it any further. And we also get to see Cal crashing the Mantis on some type of new planet that I don't think we have seen before. And... This begs the question, where is Merrin and Grease? Are they safe? Are they alright? It seems like the entire squad has basically split up because later when Cal meets Seer, she addresses him like they haven't seen each other for a while, meaning that the team probably split up fairly long before this game, which might also be explained in that novel I mentioned in the beginning of the video. I also think this location that we see Seer on is very interesting, because at first it almost looked like the Jedi Temple, but it obviously isn't if you look at the other interiors, but it still has the same kind of library archives that we can see behind her, and she seems to have gone all Jedi or something else with shaving her hair, having those markings both on the arms and on her head. And she also says that Cal has been making himself one of the most wanted by the Empire. Meaning that, again, they probably split paths a few years before this. Also make note of this person next to Seer, which has a helmet that looks a lot like the Cepho. It isn't a Cepho, because those are extinct as far as I remember, and a lot bigger. But it could be a helmet that pays homage to the Cepho species. But note though that the arm is kind of light blue colored, so it's probably not a human. And it could very well even be the same species as that guy in the tank but I can't really make out more than that. We also get to see some cool new gameplay mechanics, like the fact that you can lift up a trooper and basically force them to shoot back at the enemies. Nice and very cool addition to the gameplay for sure. And it seems to be a lot of focus on being able to tame creatures and actually mounting them and attacking while you are riding on this ostrich-like creature and also slashing down some battle droids at the same time. So I'm guessing that's gonna play a big role, whether it's something you can mount 
mount and run on or something you can grab onto and fly but creatures being allies seems to be a big focus on this game and not just having them as enemies these two guys are also very interesting. The guy to the right looks like he could potentially be a Lasat, the same species as Jarotapal. It's a little bit tricky to see because I can't see his ears, but that's just my guess that he has like a, some type of armor and covering it and they may very well be bounty hunters, but we do see later that they work for that guy who was in the tank, that I at least think is the same guy as in the tank. So I think these are not just two random bounty hunters that you face off against like in the first game, but that they are probably gonna play more of a bigger role in the game. And they also show that we can actually dual wield lightsabers, which I think is really cool. Obviously you had like one attack where you split your lightsaber in the first game, but in this game I think you're actually gonna be able to play with dual lightsabers as an actual playing style based on the trailer and a wampa what else can i say we get to fight a wampa in a non-snow environment i think that's really cool and we get to see these droids that i initially thought was actually early dark troopers but they are not they are imperial sentry droids which we can also see in star wars rebels so they have been seen before but this is the first time in the star wars jedi series as far as i know i love that they show some new combos as well with him throwing his lightsaber getting it back and attacking so they have definitely evolved the lightsaber combat a lot in this game and it kind of looks like he gets shot by an imperial gunship which is also as far as i remember from rebels here and then he gets saved by this guy who i think might be a crucial ally in the game who's actually called bode i thought it said bud at first but if you turn on the captions you can see that this guy is called bode i have no idea who that is but he's obviously gonna play a big part in the game as they show a combo you can pull off with bode which almost made me think they have co-op but i don't think that's the case i think he's just gonna be like a companion in some parts of the game and maybe you have combos that you can do together with him another part to elevate the gameplay basically and also new creatures triceratops like enemies they handled creatures really well in the first game so i'm excited to see that they have new ones in this one as well and a bunch of battle droids yet again fitted with some type of melee weapon so i don't know who has taken control of these old separatist droids but whoever did seems to have modded them with new weapons as well. And we're back to this guy who again I am pretty certain is the same guy who is in the tank. We don't see his eyes here so it's hard to see if they are glowing blue. But I think he's gonna be the main antagonist. And again we have that guy behind him who I think might be a Lasat. Although it could be some other species that is similar. But the important question is what is that thing that he is holding in his hand. Saying that the Jedi is no longer a threat because they have that. I'm really curious. It almost looks like the comm device that Qui-Gon uses in The Phantom Menace, but obviously it isn't. It's still wider and a little bit different. Another new addition is the grappling hook that we can see here as well, making the parkour a little bit more advanced. And we also get to see Cal activating the cross guard on his lightsaber, after which the lightsaber seems to act a little bit more heavy so i am guessing that you might have different play styles with the lightsaber whereas the cross guard version is a longer version of the lightsaber that feels heavier and works more like a great sword than a nimble lightsaber so you might have a normal lightsaber style dual wielding great sword and then something else as you can see here in the last scene where he fights these commando droids that the sword looks way heavier and works differently when the cross guard is activated and they also shows some marker here which i'm not sure if it's just a new targeting system or maybe some type of uh, finishing move hard to say overall i think that's all i could dig out for my first look through again if i missed anything please let me know in the comments below because it's very late so i'm sure i was too tired to do a proper analysis and also if you're gonna pre-order the game on epic games feel free to use creator code bf updates as you will directly support the channel and well you don't lose out anything on it it's only for pc obviously but if you you are getting the game on pc feel free to do it on epic games and use creator code bf updates as always huge thank you for watching this video and as always may the force be with you